Right guys, we got a quick one here from America that's pretty funny. We all know the world these days loves a Zoom call and naturally people have been caught doing stupid things on them. This time is an anti-Trump legal analyst for CNN who during a Zoom meeting preparing for the election with some of his colleagues ended up showing them he's meeting two veg. I kid you not, the mad lad drops his cacks and apparently begins to spank the plank in front of like eight other people. Some of them look horrified at the sight while a couple of women there actually appear to be having a good old gander at it and the other one is smiling. Could be an embarrassed smile or because she likes what she can see. We won't pass judgement on that but the look on her face is hilarious nonetheless. Now I do have to say this is kind of what happens when people use technology they don't understand or know how to use. The call was just about to end reports claim when he stood up, ripped off his clobber and got right down to business. Naturally the prize winning Pratt, Jeffrey Tobin, has been suspended and I expect he will be sacked shortly by the New Yorker. CNN on the other hand might well get him back because he has the right credentials in the fact that he hates Donald Trump. And let's be honest it's not like he has a leg to stand on after waving his third leg on camera. But the sun has picked up on this so let's take a quick look at that. It headlines. Andy Trump, CNN pundit, Jeffrey Tobin masturbated on Zoom call with colleagues as he says I thought no one could see. Now personally I want to ask him who in the Zoom call he was choking his chicken over. And speaking of chickens we actually have a story coming in a little while about another chicken over in the UK. But back to this one, Andy Trump or Tobin was suspended by the New Yorker after showing his man part during a virtual meeting with the magazine and WMYC radio sources revealed to Vice. Which I'm sure you would agree is fucking hilarious, I can't actually believe this complete and utter tit has been caught doing that. On Monday evening Vice updated its story with the editor's note. This piece has been updated with more detail about the call. The headline has been updated to reflect the fact that Tobin was masturbating. <laughs> I can't fucking believe it. Yeah. The headline was updated to New York suspend Jeffrey Tobin for masturbating on Zoom call. They should have changed it to New York has suspends Jeffrey Tobin for spanking his plank on Zoom call. That would have been a much better article headline if you ask me. Vice spoke with two anonymous people who were on the call which was an election simulation featuring the New York's most prolific journalist with Tobin reportedly playing the courts and with himself obviously but sources said they saw Tobin jerking off. <laughs> I fucking can't believe it. <laughs> oh my god. You literally see him. I'll show the picture on the screen now. The guy has literally stood up, spanking the fucking plank, stark bollock naked in front of everyone. Look at the bird in the middle. She appears to be fucking loving it or laughing her ass off hysterically because she is mortally embarrassed. Either way, it's fucking hilarious. The simulation included a strategy session with a break of about 10 minutes and obviously a stimulation session of him choking his chicken. At this point, they said it seemed like Tobin was on a second video call. The sources said that when the group returned from their breaks, Tobin lowered the camera. The people on the call said they could see Tobin touching his penis. Tobin then left the call. The Vice report stays. <laughs> <laughs> so they all come back and he's fiddling with his dick <laughs> that's fucking great I love that shit oh my god Moments later, he called back in, seemingly unaware of what his colleagues had been able to see and the simulation continued <laughs> so they all just fucking carried on I would have been saying to him, I'd have been like oi mate, your fucking dick was out and we see you playing with it, what are you doing you fucking sick cunt <laughs> Oh my god. It goes on, Tubin has since apologised and told the news outlet I made an embarrassingly stupid mistake believing I was off camera. I apologise to my wife, family, friends and co-workers. Yeah, what the fuck did your wife have to say about it? <laughs> Tubin added, I believed I was not visible on Zoom. Yeah, well we expected that much but obviously you fucking were. <laughs> I thought no one on the Zoom call could see me. I thought I had muted the Zoom's video. No, the mute button just mutes the audio, you complete and utter tit. And I'm not going to bother reading through the rest of the article. It's just talking shit about his life that no one actually cares about. It's literally filler. Now, I do have to say, this guy having a five-knuckle shuffle on the Zoom call is just fucking hilarious and literally peak 2020. But probably the funniest thing about it is the woman sitting in the middle of the Zoom call picture that is absolutely laughing her fucking ass off. I think that's how people should really 
really take it, though I expect he'll probably have a sexual assault claim against him within a couple of months. So remember guys, if you're doing a Zoom call with your colleagues at work, don't pull your meat and two veg out and start spanking the plank. It's never going to be a good idea. And obviously, the same goes for women. Don't start digging out your axe wound unless you're sure the camera is off. As a matter of fact, turn the computer off. That would be the best idea. But like I said, that was just a quick one there. It's rather fucking hilarious and I still can't believe it's actually happened, despite the fact that I've seen a few stories like this. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. <laughs> and that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>